I'd like to share with you a quick tip on working with content aware and being able to easily get rid of something like a line like this. Now we can do it 50 ways. We can use one of our clone stamp tools, our healing brushes, but I'm gonna use the spot healing brush over here and we're gonna use a little different techniques to do this. If you go to the pen tool, and I can hit the letter P to get to the pen tool, what we can do is we can literally draw a path. So let me zoom in here. I can click and drag to start a path, let's say. And then we can draw a path that follows this curve. So if I move over here, click and drag. Now, of course, I can go in and try and adjust this and set it the way I want to get it to go along the path. We can also go over here and we can use the selection tool or the direct selection tool rather. And you'll see that it's underneath the selection tool. So direct selection tool. You can come to one of the control direction arms right here, kind of change it up a little bit, try and get it to fit. We can add another point if we want to. I'm gonna be a little bit lazy about this, but you can easily go out if you select the pen tool again and click to add another point. And that way you could kind of fine tune this out here and get the path to go right along this. Now, when we do that, we can use the paths panel over here, if I drag this out, to automatically go out and fix this. So right now, if you select the Spot Healing Brush tool, you wanna to make sure that Content Aware is selected, and it should be up here in the control panel by default. And then you wanna make sure that the brush size is a little bit bigger than the, the thing you're gonna get rid of. So like that cable right there. You don't wanna to go too big, you don't wanna to go too small. You wanna go just a little bit bigger. Now the reason why is because it's actually going to, if I zoom in here, it's gonna go and try and borrow or heal from outside of the, uh, the object there. So let me go a little bit smaller here, there we go. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using my shortcut keys to do this. You can use Control Option, click left and right drag to change your brush size in Photoshop CS5 and CS later. Or if you're on Windows, I believe you can use Control Alt, right click, drag right or left. Come to the Paths panel. We've got the work path there and all you gotta do is come right here and you're gonna see that we've got the stroke path with brush. So click on that, let me zoom out actually first. Click on that and you should see it go to work. Now I can delete the path or hide it if I want to and you can usually use Command H on Mac or Control H on Windows and sometimes I might say, do you wanna hide Photoshop stuff? Yes, and there we go. So it's, I've seen that on an Adobe website. On the, actually, I think it was on the Photoshop blog, but I figured I would relate it to you because I think it's a really cool way just to easily be able to get rid of content. Now you gotta have Photoshop CS5 to get this to work. That's kind of the bummer. But anyway, that's part of the content aware and some of the new stuff that they have in Photoshop CS5. So there you go.